Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, what you're looking at, of course, is Mark's Tin Litho. And uh, this is a follow-up onto that uh, video I did on that uh, box of parts that I bought. And like I said, I got uh, the box of parts. It had the Lionel engine in it. It had a Mark's 666 shell. It had two motors. It had a Lionel tender. It had a Mark's gondola. And it had a bunch of Tin Litho cars. So, it's really strange. I never set out to collect tin litho. All this stuff has come with stuff that I have bought on eBay. I'd buy an engine, and it'd come with tin litho cars. And I would. Uh, wasn't until recently that I actively started pursuing them. Uh, in this case, in that box were these two in particular: the 555 refrigerator car in fairly decent condition, not perfect, but decent. Um, well played with, but no real damage to it. And then a 3824 caboose. It's seen better days, but nothing majorly wrong with it. Anyway, so I uh, totaled this all up. I now have 46 tin litho cars. So what I'm thinking of doing is, since I have it all, I really hate to see it sitting in a box. Think about cleaning it all up and then breaking this down into two different trains with 22 cars each. That would do. be an interesting thing to, to run for a while. Uh, two full tracks of tin litho. Anyway, uh, the new tin litho is on uh, the second rail. I put a 6,000 on there to see how this would pull it. I'm going to just take this around. So, tomorrow I might be running two complete tin litho trains. We'll see. So a lot of tin litho here, and ironically, I never ever set out to collect this stuff. It just happened to show up, and uh, I would throw it in a box. Pretty soon I had six, then ten, then twenty, and now I've got forty-six of them. So anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video on this. Uh, you never know what you're going to find. Uh, go into these little shops and just say, do you have any old train stuff? And this guy was like, i got a whole box full over here. $24 for the entire thing. So really hard to beat that. Anyway, I just want to do a quick video on it. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's Trains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.